Okay. How about how about we do that? Let's let's focus on the main main story for a little bit. Yeah, sure. Oh dear. Leaving this area. Luckily they're all dumb and don't have cannons and just bonked into each other. I just found uh attack with shields. Repair bubble. Yep, managed to get the uh, couple of new. What are they first. doing? It's like it's like they're trying to fight each other, but they're not enemies, so they're just kind of bumped into each other. Dumb AI. Hold on, there it's still go. alive. Didn't realize I thought we killed it. And all of a sudden, it drove at you. It, they do kind of blend in with the. Uh, with the corpses. <laughs> Some guy wants to come say hi. Oh no, apparently uh, there are no conveyors, there's no refining, and there's no crafting in multiplayer. Single that, player only. That sucks. That seems really weird, actually. Why would they do that? Apparently it is a it... conscious decision as well. Like, the, the devs have uh, apparently said that yeah, they're just never going to add it to multiplayer. That's... Hmm. That sucks. Because I'd understand if it was a performance problem, but even then, like, that would make a whole lot of sense. I guess they just want you to be... just aggro fighters. Well, I guess I should probably try playing this a little bit... single player, then. Yeah, because uh, the crafting is definitely a chunky part of the game, I would have said. Okay, well, let's... in that case... Charlie Watchtower. Also means that we won't get any kind of uh, like fuel engine. Uh, that really unless find fuel. Unless, of course, we have to just do the the main story to unlock some new things. Well, we can certainly try. I would I would love to be able to uh, report to my chat that. Perhaps not having crafting and stuff in multiplayer was uh, outdated and uh, that it now had it, but yeah, how weird. Because I can't imagine that if they got it in single player that it would be difficult to add it to multiplayer. I I guess it just feels like a weird, weird decision and like the idea of it being laggy, like in the mm. face of so many other games, it feels like it shouldn't be. Well, maybe, like you said, it's it's a design decision, they, and they, for the multiplayer experience, they don't want people getting bogged down by uh, the crafting element and just I, want them I to guess? focus on building text, but it seems odd. Way to spit in the face of anybody that likes a base mom, though. Because, yeah, honestly, I would, I would much prefer to have, like, a smaller environment. And crafting and all all the the usual business. So I'm noticing this world is kind of huge for not really anything. And maybe it's just me, but like whenever I play a game like this with the giant procedurally generated world, I'm usually just kind of like make it smaller and more meaningful because this is just trees. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, around August 5th, um, 2019, uh, a post was made explaining that uh, it was complicated to add it into multiplayer, and, and or rather that when they brought co-op in, they didn't really want to take away their focus from continuing to iterate on and improve the single-player experience in the core of the game. And that co-op was a little bit distracting to that because there's a different kind of balance you need to do with it, which you know that that does make sense. But um, apparently, they will be iterating on it and then reevaluating their decisions with that. But they're not sure when/slash if crafting will be brought in. Um, 
so eh. that was towards the end of 2019 i don't know if anything has changed so yeah that, but... probably a while before they would add proper crafting shame yeah oh well. I mean, I mean I'm still having a good time, but it would be cool to have in the... here is unique to co-op to allow people can, to tr like sell blocks, whereas normally you can't do that apparently. Oh, okay. Hey, sun's coming back. I was just about out of power. Ah, apparently they it, later on in December they did confirm that they would be adding it in. Oh, that's that's really good because uh, initially in my chat they, they I kind of got the impression that it was like, yep, nope. So that was a little bit disappointing, but uh, if it's just something they're working on, well, you know. And we'll just come back later. Things, yeah, yeah, these things take time, I guess. But what we've got right now is actually quite pleasant. Yep. Do want to find some more blocks, though. Well, maybe we'll start finding interesting things in the desert. I certainly appreciate the desert for not having trees everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I realized that I built this a little bit like, uh, ooh. ooh, interesting. It's got a big battery. I want it. It's not very well armed, though. I wonder what the story is in this. Because it, it seems to present it very finely. I don't it's I definitely don't remember this. Level. We're recruits for something. I guess we're gonna go check out a watchtower. I know the watchtowers were a thing. I thought it would give me a map. Is there no map? Maybe there's no map in this game. What do you what is your opinion on maps? Map, no map, ambivalent. Ah, I don't mind really. I quite often I like to have a choice. Cuz then if I don't want to use it, I I can just not use it. Uh if I feel that I need it, I can. Uh, I'm in a general sense, like in, in in like a general gaming sense, I'm all about just having choice to play the games the way you want to play them. I remember having a conversation a while back, uh, well before I did YouTube, but I had a I played a lot of World of Warcraft, and I was speaking with uh, one of my guild members. And he, we were talking for a while about like kind of the differences between EverQuest and World of Warcraft, and he thought World of Warcraft in classic was too hand handholdy and I was just like, no, this is kind of nice. He's like, no, I remember when I had to spend literal days walking across zones and I'm just like, ooh, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I mean, I am going to, to say that I'm actually definitely in the camp that I enjoy um, games where it is an event like it, it's it's hard it's hard enough to get somewhere that it, it's an event to do it but not just for that you know like um there was an mmo called saga of rhizome and uh, you had to to travel the world was genuinely dangerous it's like so dangerous that people would arrange like caravans to get people around so that they could get to all the various locations and pick up like um, fast travel tickets and stuff to be able to get there themselves in the future. And I love that about it. I love that until you'd been to a place once, you couldn't fast travel there, and to get there was sometimes a massive endeavor that took hours and we hours and take, hours. Of take work. the other way around, otherwise we're going to get shot. Okay, that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed that kind of kind of stuff because it. It made doing it feel, I don't know, like an adventure. I think I like the idea of that in like a small multiplayer oh. sense. There's a game, um, Outward. Ooh. Yeah. 
Uh, oh dear, you're in a rough position there. Yep. It's okay. Cannot hit us at this range. Have my resources. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there was a game I played a while back, a while back a year ago, called Outward, and I rather liked it. A year ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it was a year ago. Uh, but I rather liked it. I thought it was rather well built for a Souls-like. It was a bit clunky, but you had to, like, really prepare food and water and, like, yeah. proper tents and potions to keep yourself, like, warm or cold, depending on what environment you were in. I thought that was kind of charming. Problem is, it was also freaking merciless, so, like, you just... You would just die along the way. And that that got to be just a little bit of a trial. Mm. Uh, yeah, but it's it, definitely it, fun, fun. Holy crap. This thing is, uh... Covered in guns. Oh, it's got a bunch of Healy fields. Yeah. We are going to need to keep a sustained attack on this to make any real dent. Uh, I'm almost I'll... finished charging my batteries. How Alternatively. Are you, you got to float. <laughs> uh. Oh, I see. Well... Cannons have an arc. They do. What if they do? So if if you can get it enough before gravity is pulling the bullet straight down. Yeah. What if I'm just yeah. grossly tall? I, I can't. I can't tell. I think I'm hitting uh, it. Uh, uh, you wanna, you wanna here, get past me. Sorry, I have like zero uh, maneuverability uh, as I've added a massive. Your cannon shells are dropping too fast. They're getting closer, but not close enough to actually hit it. But I think you've got somewhat of the right. Right idea there. Okay. So I just gotta be taller. I would say so, yes. Okay, Tower of Guns. Uh, what we want is some of these. Okay, that's considerably higher. I'm shooting the base. Okay, I'm definitely hitting it. Excellent. There we go. That's yeah, so all probably. You seem to have a good range here, though. Interesting. Well, I've definitely done some damage to it. But be careful. It's still got the big guns. <laughs> it's, it's kind of got it. That have, yeah. <laughs> You're floating over as well. Oh, well, we're going to have to fight that other thing at some point. Heading towards the watchtower. <laughs> I can't turn. <laughs> I can go forward, but if I try and turn, no, 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 it gets no. real bad. <laughs> Should I approach I from the other? Wait. Oh, you've already. You've already. Okay. I'm gonna go the other way. We're gonna two prong this sure. one. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I did a lot of damage though. Uh, <laughs> that is just the most ridiculous thing. I'm just watching this massive blocky tower just wobbling its way over there. 
<laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, maybe I can... Maybe I can rise above? Okay, we're good. I... You know, the sad thing is it's super tempting to actually, like, try and continue this. Uh, like, make... Make this into a real thing covered in so many guns, nothing can stop me. This be the very slow driving Uber Spire. And I made a friend. Give me a second, I gotta murder him. Sure. Okay, he is quite dead. I mean, there's no point in me putting that back on just. <laughs> It really does not handle slopes at all. Yeah, I'm not at all surprised about that. <laughs> How are you doing against the uh, death tower? Or are you just fixing yourself? I was just fixing myself there. I just need to charge up a little bit before I uh, redeploy. Need to recharge those batteries. I've added so many lasers. Oh, shoot. Their tower actually has range. You are definitely hitting the base. But that's what it's got its uh, healing focus. As soon as I am charged, I will get back into this. Oh, you're deployed as well, are you? Yeah. That's yeah moving forward. It, it should give me enough uh, solar charge that the odd hit from him... There we go will not harm me. Wow, we've actually reduced this to a considerable amount of rubble. Here, stop for a second. It's not fighting back. Right. Uh, at least not much. Before we lose all these precious parts, you know, because they, yeah. they can't fight back. Cool. Yeah, these, the, this laser barrage is ridiculous. Uh, at this see, point, got a giant block of cheese there. Tempted. That. Whatever you are. I'll come back. Oh, what? What is going on? Physics is breaking down on me a bit. <laughs> I'm not too surprised. Like, I'm trying to move things around, but I think because of where my camera is, it's, like, not cool with anything <laughs> I've done. Like, I gotta detower the tower a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not at all surprised about that one, I'll be honest with you. Tis a shame, but it is not an unexpected one. Okay. Do we have another one yeah, of those? Yeah, the moment big you did that, suddenly things were, were picked up again. Heck yeah! All right. We need one of those block magnet. I will use you later. Yeah. Rip. That's an eight by. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, putting down the uber block magnet? Trying to. I guess it is... Oh yeah, it is It is a 4x4, okay. Why can't I connect it there then? Oh, of course. I had that in the way. I forgot about that. And I can build up around that. By the way, we have a lot more cannons now, if you, if you want to get in on this. Uh... I think I shall. Sure. I don't actually know if they're that great, but they seem to be incredibly effective at dealing with a lot of problems. I will be honest, this block magnet is bloody gigantic. The Geocorp one? Yeah. I got the bigger GSO one. I'm actually. Whoop, whoop. I 
I'm not at all sure that this thing is going to even bloody move. Well, more wheels might help. Yep. That seems like a very wise suggestion. I'm gonna need extra healing as well at the back, I think. Uh, possibly batteries if we got some more. Yes, we do. Marvelous. I can sneak them in there. Uh, it's not exactly right, but. Uh... I'll get it working better later. <laughs> oh, well, there's a battery pack from Geoco. Ooh. That looks gigantic. I think I might have to join the Geocorp fully at this point. My little guy is not quite good enough. Okay. It served I... well for as long as it served. Yeah. Is there a way to save Dex? Oh, I certainly hope so. Um, I, yeah, I'm fairly certain there must be because I'm, I'm certain people have uh, like made tech blueprints. Yeah, I see load, but I want to save. The snapshot button. Oh, take a snapshot. Ah, okay. I'm heading over right. to you so you can see what this bloody thing looks like. It is super dumb. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wait. Hi. <laughs> uh... May I inquire about the status of the amount of firepower? <laughs> uh, I think we should we could do with some more. But I was wondering what I was shooting at. All my cannons are retargeted that time. The little thing. Oh man, it must suck so bad to be this tank right now. <laughs> he uh he knew what he was getting into. Do not pity Did him. He, though? He, he saw know? us over the ridge, and he said, I want in on that. And hmm. that was silly. So a mistake you only make once. Is there a way to return everything? Whoops. Is there a way to return everything that I currently have to nothing? Like, just reset my vehicle. Dang it. I keep pressing I this. I do not know. Energy techs, reskin tech. Huh. God, there's so many bits and bobs here. Oh, just take your cab off the vehicle. That'd do it. <laughs> okay. Did everything just explode? No. I, uh... I, uh, took my cab off the vehicle. Right. And then, um... Wow. Then attached the giant... Size difference. <laughs> Come at me, I've ripped. <laughs> I shall park on you. <laughs> All right, I can't go to build mode. Oh no! I'm like actually stuck. I've caught you. Wanda has been trapped. No. This is fantastic. I am so amused. No, oh, it will not let me swap because position is blocked. I was going to try and become... <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> um. Okay. Just let my cat out. Come on, Tilly. Yes. Let's see. Control blocks. There we go. There we are. Right. There we go. Here's my. Oh, you switched over to the Geocorp cab. Maybe. Yeah. It actually looks pretty cool. Except for the. F well. Yeah. It does look pretty cool. Oops. Well, try that again. Uh, hello, random assortment of Geocorp blocks. Yeah, it turns out uh, I cannot remove the block from my back. Oh, you're just wrapping your cab up completely. I, I see. Yeah, I don't want that on the front. That'd be, that'd be foolish. Wow, we're so far from any quests. Okay. Once again, tiny little cabs that honestly, why are these techs spawning nearby? Do you want to try the big job wheels? We'll get there. I'm having a poke around to see if there are any other tanks about. I don't know how the game spawns tanks, though. Like, uh, what, what criteria it has to just spawn a new random enemy? Do they only spawn near resource nodes? What? Giant lemon. Hi. Actually, I think we may be able to fit a little, few more things on this. Especially if we use... Oh, no, we can't. That's a bit of a shame. That being said... Huh. Stand. Ooh, now this is potentially useful. Because, yeah, we still don't have any good power blocks. That sucks. Yeah. And if, like I said earlier, if we don't have any kind of crafting, then we may never get those. Because the, the really good power blocks require that you create the fuel for them. Some people are mentioning in my my chat. Perhaps we could just buy the uh, the power blocks at the shop. But the the thing is, you'd have to be able to buy the fuel as well. I don't think you can do that. That's the stuff that you would craft, or rather, you'd refine. Oh, you are just yoinking all the cannons. Can wonder hear me? I wonder. 
I can hear you. There we go. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I just grabbed a couple. I, I wasn't sure what was going on there. Um, I'll drop those back down. There we go. I've got loads of lasers on this right now. There we go. Did those come through? Yep. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could have some floodlights. We're going to need either a bigger shield generator or a lot more of them, which is a bit of a letdown. might actually be officially too big. Oh. Well, let's find out. At least I can... Apparently collectors can still hold stuff. Eh? Oh. I feel that my laser arrays needed to be, uh... Oh. Well lit. I made a mistake. I need more support for my wheels. They're struggling a little bit. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I brought the light of judgment. <laughs> I made a mistake. Come at me. <laughs> I am adorable. <laughs> It is actually pretty cool, especially when uh, you haven't um, done much yet, because your little cab has just a, like a almost like a little drill arm. It's fantastic. It does have a tiny little drill. It's great. Hi. <laughs> we. I'm a little disappointed by the size of these anchors, because I really feel like the uh, the Geocorp anchors should extend down considerably further. Because as it stands, I have to like rub my butt along the ground just to just to get power, and that is frustrating. Well. What's the uh what's the button to rotate a block? Do you know? Right click. Right click. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm going to need more wheels at the back of this in order to support this redonkulous weight. Okay. Oh, that ain't going to work. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to get this thing so it can and will anchor. Uh, let's see. Is it a standard block for an anchor? No. Oh, it's a manufacturing one. Yes, so rotating anchor. Maybe I can do that. Oh, there we go. Whoa. That's weird. Works, though. That's how for me to go and test my... this thing. Oh, gosh. That is 100% still too big. Please don't be a tiny tech. Please don't be a tiny tech. Ah, damn it. Hey, we don't have any flight blocks yet either, do we? I know, that that was surprising me.
We need to get to the other, uh, like, uh, companies soon. We do. We need to get hold of those different weapons. I apologize ah, I that I am now that's slowing us down. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was just kind of uh, more commenting that we want to... I'm not sure how we meet them and, and start doing quests for them. So... Oh. That's what I'm missing. There we go. Where's the... There it is. Block magnet. Let's see if let's see if this is good. I love the way that the uh, solar panels kind of like come online in the staggered way. What the <laughs> nice arms. Thank you. <laughs> Those are the lights of judgment. Hence all the floodlights. <laughs> I felt it was only fair considering they were massive banks of lasers. Okay. I think I'm almost done. I just actually have to strap weapons to this thing. Troishka. I really do not have nearly as many manufacturing blocks, but I guess, I don't know. That's okay. Oh, let's charge up. Oh, that's a concern. Trying to get my shield generator and stuff to not be on the top, and it uh, does not like that. Okay, there we go. Come on, rotate. I More wish there was finer control of the rotation, because that is so annoying. Ah. <sighs> uh. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Hooray! <laughs> There's no way to undo that. There we go. Well done. Yeah, that should still be within range. Seems to be. Weapon blocks. if I need the floodlights nearly as much as I thought I did. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And then long block. Weapon block again. Last two cannons. Just outside of range of the shields. Oh, that's perfect. There's one. There's two. Better, more centrally located. Should be good. I am a cute. I'm a cute car. I don't know if I'm a good car. Oh, apparently this uh, this oleite jelly can be used as fuel. So maybe we just have to uh, harvest the right stuff. Okay, which direction are we going? Uh, let's see, where's the nearest shop? Because we should probably head for the nearest shop more than anything else. Okay.
Because those will those will actually have the quest for us, and if we're lucky, we can actually get our hands on the uh, the next story mission. Okay. So I don't think so we have any like yet. Gosh, we really are super far away from every other quest, but that's okay. Oh, now there's something. Okay. I'm not quite the ridiculous beast that I want to be. But whatever. I'll live. Hopefully we get, like, myth. You, on the other hand. I can't hit this tiny little thing. <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to have a better time just standing still and letting my cannons do the work. I was trying to bring my lasers to bear. That was hilarious. Oh my lord. <laughs> 